TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Well, friends, we are now on level two, gearing up and getting closer to the grand finale. We are with the top 16 of the most talented schools across the island. Well, very well said, Trishma. Well, that is the truth because top 16 means the schools who are taking part in level two have done way better than the rest of the schools who initially took part, which means the game is even tougher, even more competitive, and there is so much to learn from this very platform. So, we are ready to start another brand new match between two very talented schools in the island. Without much further ado, it's time for us to find out who our two schools will be for this match. It's time for us to put our hands together for the girls from Anula Vidyalaya. And facing off against them is another girls' school. Let's give it up to Devi Balika Vidyalaya Colombo. And we have the two schools on stage, ready to take on each other. Well, all full of smiles. It's nice to see two girls' schools competing against each other. Well, I'm going to say if it's of the same, if it's males and males or females and females, definitely the competition gets even more tough and even more competitive. And I would like to focus my attention to the captain of Anula Vidyal and ask, how has your preparation been, Devma? Well, it's not the first time. You're not a stranger to this stage. How does it feel like? Because uh, this is the second round, we know this round is a little bit competitive. So as Anulians, we like to give a good competition for our opponents. She is ready and geared to give a good competition to the girls from Devi Balika. We need to find out what their response is. Yes, we have Praharsha, <laughs> who's the captain here from Devi Balika. Vidyale. How have you been preparing? We have been working pretty hard, but so we're going to like try our best. Alright, okay, let's hear it up for both the schools. Well, Krishma, both teams seem to be ready to take on each other, but we need an elite panel of fair judgment to be carried out in each and every match. And it's time for us to find out who our judges for this match is. Well, starting off with the panel is Chamari Mudanaika, Assistant Director of Education, Foreign Agencies and External Affairs Branch, Ministry of Education. Also joining on the panel is Ioma Damianti, working as a resource person in NIE and Ministry of Education. Well, with the panel now introduced, it's time for us to kick-start this match with the tossing of the coin. It's now our pleasure to invite one of the judges to please join us, as well as invite both the captains to join us front and centre. Well, here is the decider for today's game, which we call the toss, and I'm sure both of you are aware how this whole thing works, which is, of course, heads and tails. We call it Pentathlon and TV1. So, two girls, I can't take sides. You all decide who will be going which which sign first. Pentathlon. Pentathlon says Anula Vidyalaya, which means Evalika will have to go with TV1. Okay, so let's see how well the toss works on whose favorite side. Favoring on TV1, which means. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, we get to choose. You get to choose. Did you already decide from whom it's if I'm come? I am <laughs> going to go second, I'm going to go first. Uh, we're going to go second. You are going to go second, which means you'll be following Anula Vidyale. Okay, right. Nothing more to be said. Everything is done. The toss has been done. Let's shake hands. Okay, so the toss was on the favouring side of Devi Balika. However, they decided that Anula Vidyala needs to go in first in each and every match, which means the Devi Balika girls will follow Anula Vidyala. Well, the game is set and it's time for us to see what will happen as the games progress. Without much further ado, let's kickstart today's game. We start off with round one, which we call Balance. Your quiz. <laughs> Each of our teams gets to send forward three co-players. These players then have a challenge to answer five questions 
within a span of 30 seconds. And they have to do all of this while balancing a table tennis ball on a table tennis racket. Every correct answer gives them five points. If they're able to answer the fifth question correctly, they get 10 points. However, if they do drop the ball even once, they will be disqualified from taking on further questions. Well, you heard the rules and regulations, how things work off in round one, and it's time for us to start the game. But first, I need to ask the captain of Anula, Teuma, who are your three core players for this round? It will be Tulani, Sashini and myself. And who will be coming in first? I'm coming. Okay, so Deuma, the captain of Anula Vidyala, steps forward first. Let's put our hands together. <laughs> Deuma, you're the captain of the team. You have a big challenge. And you're taking it first. Okay, let's see how it goes. Just like last time, you've got 30 seconds on the clock and we are ready to fire the questions. The time is set. Let's start in 3, 2, 1, go. What is the chemical name of caustic soda? Pass. Sodium hydroxide. Who was the first European to reach Cape of Good Hope? Pass. It's Bartholomew Dias. Which strait separates Java and Sumatra Islands? Parleta. Wrong, it's Savuda. Labour and Conservative are the two major political parties in which country? Australia. Wrong, it's England. Name the captain of the Cricket World Cup winning team in Time is up. It's time for us to see how the girls from Devi Balika take part in this round. For that, we need to see who the three co players are. And Praharsha, it's over to you. Who are your three co players? And who's coming in first? Come forward. Captain versus Captain it is. You have 30 seconds to deal with and your time starts in three. Okay. Your time starts in three, two, one. Go. Cartographer is the person who draws or produces what? Maps. Correct. Hezbollah is a guerrilla movement originated in which continent? Correct. Which strait separates Europe and Africa? Gibraltar. Correct. Liberal and Na Labour are two major parties. Canada. Wrong. Australia. Name the captain of the Cricket World Cup winning teams in 1975 and 1979. Uh, Lloyd. Lloyd. <laughs> Wrong. It's Clive Lloyd. Your questions are up. <laughs> now, 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 won't the rest of the people play the game? Are you? <laughs> Why are you sorry? Come, give me five and go. Good job. No, five is up five. Okay, right. She has got very, very excited and she walked away with, uh, <laughs> with this. Okay, right. Let's move on to the girls of Manula Vidyale Devma. Who is coming in next? Sashini. Come forward. Are you ready? You got your time set. Let's start in three, two, one, go. Who is considered the father of Malaysia? Abdul Rahman. Correct. Longyear Bien, the northernmost town of the world with a significant population, belongs to which country? Pass. It's Norway. Name the tallest mountain in Cyprus. Uh, Olympus. Correct. Uh, Olympus. Soccer star Gerard Piquet plays for which country? Uh, New Zealand. Wrong, it's Spain. What's the chemical name of baking soda? Pass. It's sodium bicarbonate. Your question is up. Let's move on once again to the girls from Devi Balika. Captain, who is your next player? Sahanya is going next. Sahanya is coming forward. Okay, let's put our hands together for Sahanya. <laughs> Sahanya, you are ready? Did you do the same thing last time as well? Um, yes. Yes? Okay, she's not answering. Okay, maybe she's memorizing <laughs> all what she studied. Okay, you've got 30 seconds to deal with and your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Who is considered the father of Italy? Yeah. Fox. It's a Carno. Name the smallest ocean in the world, area-wise. Arctic Ocean. Correct. Name the tallest mountain in Indonesia. Fox. It's Bukak Jaya. Tennis champion John Borg is a native of which country? England. Wrong. Sweden. What is the pH value of battery acid? Three. Wrong. It's one. Your questions are up. Right, it's time for us to see how the final player from Anula Vidyalaya engages in her round and who is coming forward. It will be Tulani. Cool. 
Van Helsing is a vampire hunter featuring in which 19th century Gothic novel? Pass. It's Dracula. Chihuahua is the largest state in which country? Pass. It's Mexico. Which country has won the second most Olympic gold medals in weightlifting following Soviet Union? Cuba. Wrong, China. Otic is term used in connection to which body part? Pass. It's year. What is the Japanese word for blossoming of cherry tree? Sak Sakura. Correct. Your questions are up. Right, so we need to see how very well the next uh, participant of uh, Devi Balika engages in the round. Let's see who is coming forward. Fish okay. me. Okay, let's put our hands together for her. You ready? Uh, kind of, yeah. Uh, okay. Here you go. You got 30 seconds to deal with. And your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Ishmael and Ahab are title characters in which... Obedic. Correct. Which strait separates China and Taiwan? Uh, Formosa. Correct. Which country has won the second most Olympic gold medals in boxing following the USA? Soviet Union. Wrong. Cuba. Arthritis affects which part of the body? Bones. Wrong. It's joints. What is the Latin word for water? Uh, aqua. Correct. Your questions are asked. Krishma, I have a gut feeling. Today's going to be an interesting match. Why is that? I don't know. There's some rapid fire thing coming around, but we need to find out how very well the two schools have taken part in the first round. We have more excitement as we bring you after this short break. Don't go anywhere. This is TV One Pentathlon, Pentathlon Season 2. two. Welcome back. You are watching TV One Pentathlon Season 2. And today in the house, we have the two girls schools of Anula Vidyalaya as well as Devi Balika Vidyalaya. We just finished round one of a very closely fought match. And it's time for us to find out what the scores are at the end of the first round. Let's start off with Anula Vidyalaya at the end of round one. They have scored themselves 20 points. And meanwhile, we have the girls from Devi Balika Vidyalaya scoring themselves 40 points. Well, it's a 20-40 game yeah, at the end of round one. But the next one is very interesting, very creative. I'm sure if you have been following TV1 Pentathlon, you must be knowing what we're going to talk about. It is called the second round. He is filled with creativity and a lot of fun-filled excitement on this very stage which you will be witnessing just about now. So let's move on to the second round which we call Express to Impress. The second round involves a lot of imagination and creativity because that's the team are required to do a role play. They will be given a story lead which they then have to act out and complete right here on this stage. And this round will be judged by a panel of judges from the Ministry of Education. So without further ado, let's find out what Anula Vidyalaya picks for themselves. A big banyan tree was home to a number of cranes in a forest. In the hollow of that tree, lived a cobra which used to feed on the young cranes which did not yet learn to fly. When the mother crane saw the cobra killing her offspring, she began crying and then... Psst, psst. Oh, what a nice dinner for me! Mom! Mom. Go away, go away from oh, my children! Go away! Me. See, I said to you, we have to take care of our children. You must take them away from our homeland. Yes, yes, I think I, I should take them to somewhere. Come, 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 sit. It's been a long time without my children. I'm so tired and so exo exhausted waiting for them. So, we might have become grandparents and they might have become parents even. So, I like to see them before I die. Aren't you? Yes, yes, I also, they might have. <laughs> oh, how long 
I am. I haven't had good food for years. I'm so hungry. Oh. Oh, I'm hungry. Can you see that cobra? It hurt us a lot. Now we can hurt it. No, brother. He seems to be so hungry, so we have to give some food for him. Poor Sorry. fellow. Okay, let's go and find some food. Here, here is dead rat. Yeah, we'll give it for him. I'm hungry. Oh, food! given me food at this time when I am nearly to die. Oh, I can remember those faces. Oh, they were the cranes whom I hurted. I'm sorry, my dear children. I won't hurt you anymore. Trishma, every day there is some sort of learning from the state of Pentathlon. I learned something new today. Do you want to know what that is? What is that? Cobras eat from their hands. <laughs> How does the cobra eat? Cobra eats like this. She knows I'm coming near here. How does the cobra eat? Can we have a replay? How does the cobra eat? No, no, do it the same way. Okay, this is your food. I'm not looking. I'll watch through the TV. <laughs> I got scared. Okay, down. let's put our hands together. Okay. Okay, right. So that was a that was a lot of. Uh, <laughs> I'm losing my words right now, but it was fun filled. So we need to see how very well the opponents were, gave a good fight, maybe equally better, or we need to find out. Let's see what they pick out from Dev Balika. Once upon a time, an old crane lived on the rim of a large lake in the middle of a jungle. Because of age, it was not able to prey on fish and other insects. Unable to suffer the hunger, the crane stood on the edge of the lake and began crying pitiably. And then... <laughs> I'm so old and so alone. There's nobody to help me. Nobody give me food. I feel so isolated. <laughs> oh my God, but the teaching. I can't even practice for my fashion show tomorrow. <laughs> Who's crying? Lady Peacock, who's crying? We should go and help whoever it is. Uh, well, this stupid sound stuff. <laughs> oh, Professor Owl, you are poorly today. I know. How can I see through this? <laughs> oh, what's that scary thing? Who's making it? Let's go and find who it is. Let's go and help him. <laughs> It's Cranepa! Cranepa, what happened? There's nobody to help me and I'm so old, fragile and miserable. There's nobody to give me food and because of my old age, I can't catch a prey. I feel so alone and so sad. <laughs> oh, how can we help him? Oh, I have an idea. Let's jump into this pond and let's find some seaweed for him. Okay, who's going to volunteer? Oh, I am not going to jump into that pond. I can't get that contaminated water in on, on my beautiful coat of feathers. Definitely not me. I deserve to sleep. <laughs> uh, I'm too small and fragile for such bravery. <gasps> so I've got to do this alone? Okay uh, then, I'll find some seaweed for you. Now wait. Is it the fish or the seaweed? Seaweed? Fish. Fish? Seaweed. Hmm. I think it's going to be the fish. Let's see. Here you are. Have this. <laughs> what did you do? He just killed our fish. He meant so much to us.
Okay, so the girls from Devi Balika too were able to put out a splendid performance. But I wonder whether time was managed properly because management of time is also a very key, important criteria by the judges when they put down the marks. Don't worry, I'm not going to ask anything. All are staring at me and wondering whether I'll be asking something. Trishma, I think uh, we need to focus our attention towards the judges and find out how the scores look like for round two. So it's over to the judges to pass out their judgment. The expectation of this round uh, is to evaluate the creative thinking and power of imagination of the players and how they build up the story, the content, presentation and the conclusion of the story. So after all, evaluation of after all, uh, evaluation of these factors, we have awarded 85 marks to the Balika Vidyalaya. <laughs> and 86 marks to Anla Vidyalaya. So you heard it from the judges themselves. Time now to find out the cumulative score at the end of round two. We see Anla Vidyalaya with a total so far of 106 points. And meanwhile, Devi Balika Vidyalaya has a total so far of 125 points. Well, you heard the scores. Both schools have surpassed the 100 mark. And the girls from Dei Balika are now taking the lead at the end of two rounds. But things could change because we got a few more rounds to see which school will get closer to the grand finale. With that being said, it's time for us to move on to a very challenging and a very interesting game here on the stage of TV1 Pentathlon Level 2. So let's move on to round 3 which we call what? The basket. In round three, each party gets to select three core players. They're then given a word which is 12 alphabets long, with several of the alphabets covered. In order to unlock these alphabets, they have to successfully net the ball into the basket. Each successful netting gives them 10 points, and if they're then able to correctly guess the word, they are then awarded a further 70 points. Well, those are the rules and regulations of round three. So, in order to start off with the game, let's start off with the picking of the number, which we'll be directing first and foremost to the girls from Anula Vidyalaya. This is word number eight. Well, Dema from Anula Vidyalaya picked out word number eight. Before that, I would like to ask you, Dema, who are your three co-players for what the basket? It will be Sashini, Benuri and myself. Okay, so now she has identified her three core players. Let's find out what word number 18 is. We got a space at the start, one S, two spaces, O, two spaces R, two spaces I and a space at the end. Dema, you got your word. Now who will be coming in first and what is that letter she would like to unlock? I like to unlock the first letter and I will be coming. Captain comes forward for the first flag. Devma, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Which blank would you like unlocked? I like to unlock the last blank. The last blank and the session will be coming. Are you ready? Okay, three, two, one, go. Beautiful. Good one. Okay. Thelma, who is coming in next? Uh, Benuri will be coming and we like to unlock the third space. Okay, Benuri, let's see whether you are able to make it another successful basket. Thank you. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, Dema, now are you going to decide what the word is or are you going to send in extra players? Which no, is going I to cost you negative marks if they don't put basket. Are you going to decide what the word is? I'm going to decide the word. You're going to decide the word. Okay. 
the bird is osteoporosis. Okay. And the spellings are O S T E O P O R O S I S. Osteoporosis. Yeah. That's what I. <laughs> are you sure about it? Okay. We need to see whether that is the correct one. Whom, who came up with that word? You did. There is no other S. No. Sure. It's correct. You sure? Hundred percent sure. Fifty percent sure. Fifty percent sure for osteoporosis. Okay. So let's see if that's the correct word. If osteoporosis is on the favoring side of Anula Vidyalaya. I didn't, I didn't say if that was right. It's right. How do you know? <laughs> you sure? Yeah. She can't smile even. <laughs> well, that is the correct answer. Let's put our hands together for Anula Vidyalaya. <laughs> Let's see if the girls in Devi Balika do it equally well or will they not be that great. We need to find out, but let them first pick the word. Word number 12. But Praharsha from Devalika selected word number 12. But before we discover what the word is with those missing spaces, I'd like to ask you, Praharsha, who are your three core players? Uh, me, Sahanya, and Tamil. Okay, so she has selected her three core players. Let's see what word number 12 is. A space to begin with P, two spaces I, two spaces A, two spaces T and a space at the end. Okay, Praharsha, who will you be sending in first? Kevin. And what is the letter she would like unlocked? The second blank. Come forward. Three, two, one, go. It was almost there, but it didn't fall in the right place. Prarsha, who is coming in next and what is the letter she would I like am. unlocked? I am. You're coming in and what is the letter? Your first letter. The first blank. Okay, come forward. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, right, Prarsha. Who is coming in next and what is the letter? The first blank. The first blank, that's just before I. And who's coming in? Who is going in? Sahanya. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Are you going to send in more players, Prasha, or are you going to decide what the word is? You need to make okay, a decision. Okay, we are going to send another player. Okay, and what is the, that uh, the letter? The one after I. The one after I. Ranagi is going to go. Okay, come forward. Three, two, one, go. Well, Praharsha also notes sending in more players means negative marking. Are you going to decide whether you're going to send in your final player or are you going to decide what the word is? Yeah, yeah. We're going to send no the next time. player. We're going to send the next player. You're going to be sending in the next player and can you decide what is that blank you would like unlocked? The one after A. The one after A. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. So, all players are done, which means you have to decide what the word is. Have you all decided what the word is? Have you all guessed the word? Okay, it's time for us to begin counting. You're telling what the word is? Okay, the word is spirituality. Can you spell it for us, please? Yes. Yeah. 
I R I T T U A L I T Y. And what is the word? Spirituality. Spirituality? <laughs> How spiritual are we here now? Are you sure about the word? All are holding hands. <laughs> I wish if the camera is able to get a close up, they are all holding hands. T I or Y? Y, Y. Why? Yeah, T Y. I'm also asking why. <laughs> you sure about it? Spirituality, T Y at last. <laughs> Okay, we need to see whether that is the correct answer. Final, done and dusted. You can hold hands, no problem. Okay. Are we ready to reveal the word? Okay. It's time for us to see if Devi Balika is equally good as the girls from Anula Vidyalaya in guessing what the word is. Without much further ado, let's take a look at the word. Spirituality is the correct word. Okay, so we have concluded three interesting rounds and it was a nail-biting last round, the third round. We need to know what the results look like at the end of three rounds, but before that, we all need to take a short breather and reminding you not to go anywhere. Keep it locked. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2 and we are in a closely fought match between Anula Vidyalaya and Devi Balika Vidyalaya. At the end of round 3, we now have the scores before you. And once again, like I said, these two schools are really closely fighting it out. Let's start off with the scores for Devi Balika Vidyalaya. In round 3, they scored themselves 70 points and that brings their total to 195 points. Meanwhile, the girls from Anula Vidyalaya, they have scored themselves 90 points in the third round and that brings their total to 196 points. Well, it's time for us to find out our next attraction here in level 2 of TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. And we call it the fourth round, which is called Target. Your knowledge. In our fourth round, each of our teams gets to send forward three co-players. These players then have an opportunity to swing the golf club and hit the golf ball into any one of the holes. And these holes represent a particular subject from where they will then be asked a question. Each correct answer gives them 25 points. If they choose to double and answer correctly, they will get 50 points. However, if they choose to double and answer incorrectly, there will be negative marking. Well, well, there you go. Those are the rules and regulations of round four and also the latest addition to level two, which we call Target Your Knowledge, but it is through this mini golf course. Well, just like before, we had some color spinning, but this time it is how you target through this on this mini golf course. So we got sports and games, which is on blue. We got geography on green. We got literature in purple. Art and entertainment is yellow. History is orange. Science and technology is red. And of course, here you go, the lucky one, Trump. They could select any of those subjects which I just mentioned. So we got an introduction as to what this round is. It's time for us to start things off with Anula Vidyalaya. Devma, who are your three co-players? It will be Kavindi, Benuri and myself. And who is coming in first? I'm coming. The captain comes forward. Let's put our hands together. Okay, then we are the first to go. Are you ready? Okay, start in three, two, one, go. Well, it was a direct hit to Yellow, which is art and entertainment. You've got art and entertainment. Would you like to go in for a double? No. Okay, let's take a look at your visual. songwriter, actor and music producer who is world famous by his stage name. 
your options are A. Sigh B. Rain C. Wind or D. Wave Time is ticking. The answer is B. Rain. B. Rain. Have you heard of the singer before? Never. Never. So it's just a wild guess? Yeah. Alright, so let's see if it's going to be raining. Good fortune for you. Your answer is B. Rain. The correct answer is B. Rain. Congratulations! Let's move on uh, to the girls from Dev Balika and ask the captain Praharsha who her three co players are. Uh, Ranuki, Sahani, and Tevin. Okay, and who's coming in first? Ranuki. Come down. Okay, you're ready? Three, two, one, go. Well, she seemed to be very surprised on what she just did, but it is orange, which is history. You've got history. Would you like to go in for a double? Okay, let's take a look at your visual. Identify this former British Prime Minister. Your options are A. Gordon Brown B. John Major C. David Cameron or D. Tony Blair Time is ticking. Three yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay, seconds. The is, uh, we're going to say Four. A. A. Yeah. A. So you said A, Gordon Brown. Are you sure? Not sure. How, what's your percentage of sureness? Zero. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You've said A, Gordon Brown. This British Prime Minister is Gordon Brown. Congratulations! <laughs> well, they're all fighting for that one point difference, but still it seems like it is constant because both schools were able to get that point for both of their attempts. Let's move on back to Anula Vidyali and ask them who is coming in. Come to will be coming. Okay, come forward. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so it is a trump for Anula Vidyale, which means they could select any of these uh, subjects which I mentioned at the start of the game. Let's uh, direct our attention to the captain and ask her what the subject is. We're going to choose geography. Okay, Trishma, they have selected geography. Let's see how it works for them. And would you like to go in for a double? No. Okay, let's take a look at your visual. Identify the country highlighted on the map. Your options are A. Slovenia B. Bosnia-Herzegovina C. Serbia or D. Croatia The time is ticking. It's A. Slovenia A. Slovenia Everybody's faces are down. That means they're not sure at all. <laughs> Just looking down as if to not maintain any eye contact with me. Okay, so you've said A, Slovenia. The correct answer is C, Serbia. That is the incorrect answer. Well, that attempt was not a successful one for Anula Vidyale. Nevertheless, they have more chances. Let's now move on to Devi Palika and ask the captain who is coming in next. Okay, come forward. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so you got your final attempt. Don't put it out, but aim at the hole. Okay, are you ready? Final attempt. Three, two, one, go.
all three chances were not successful, which means it's a disqualification. So no points awarded to Devi Balika. With that, we move on to the final chance of the girls from Anula. Let's ask Captain who her final player is. A Benry Wilson coming. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one. Another two more attempts. Three, two, one, go. Your final attempt. Focus and aim. Three, two, one, go. Three attempts down, which is a disqualification. Levi Balika also got a disqualification. And Anula too now has a disqualification in this round. So all three attempts from Anula is over, but one final attempt remains with Devi Balika. Let's see how well they make use of their attempt. Captain, who is coming forward? Sahan. Come forward. Are you ready? Okay. Three, two, one, go. One attempt is down, two more to go. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, three, two, one, go. Well, two attempts were down for her, but finally she capitalized on the final attempt and was able to get art and entertainment, which was on yellow. Let's see how well they answer the question. You've got arts and entertainment. Would you like to go in for a double? No, thank you. Let's take a look at your wish list. Name this American singer, actor and producer who was one of the most popular and influential musical artists of the 20th century. Your options are A. David Bowie B. Dean Martin C. Frank Sinatra or D, Tony Bennett? Uh, C. Uh, this C. C, Frank Sinatra. Are you very sure? Yes. Yes. Yes, very sure. All right. C, Frank Sinatra is their answer. The correct answer is C, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Well, the girls from Devi Balika were able to get that final attempt onto a positive side and score those marks for their school. But nevertheless, we need to see how the points table look like at the end of four rounds. It's time for us to shift our attention to the points table. We now have the scores at the end of round four. Let's find out how Anula Vidyala have done in round four. They scored themselves 25 points and that brings their total up to 221 points. Meanwhile, the girls of Devi Balika Vidyalaya in round four have scored themselves 50 points and that brings their total up to 245 points. Well, there you go. You heard the scores at the end of the fourth round. Well, the girls from Devi Balika have taken the lead. But nevertheless, we got one more challenging round and we are yet to see which school will get closer to the grand finale. Without much further ado, when things are heated up, it's time for us to get into the fifth and final round, which we call the, the buzzer, buzzer round. round. We're now in the fifth and final round and the rules are very, very simple. We have 10 questions and each correct answer gives the team 10 points. With that, we get started with question number one. Name the current president of Croatia. Ranugi? Kolinda Grabar Kitarovic. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Question number two. The tin drum was written by which? Ranugi? Gantagras. <laughs> the tin drum was written by which Nobel Prize winning German writer? The correct answer is Gantagras. Question number three. 
named the manager coach of the 2018 FIFA World Cup winning French team. Dishmi. Didier Deschamps. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Question number four. Which organization won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2012? European Union? Uh, That's Europe the correct answer. <laughs> Question number five. Champion basketball player LeBron James recently joined which NBA team? Time up. The correct answer is Los Angeles Lakers. Question number six. Carmen is an opera created by which French composer? Time up. The correct answer is George Bizet. Question number seven. Name the only US state to feature the Union Jack in its state flag. Time's up. The correct answer is Hawaii. Question number eight. In 2001, Will Smith was nominated for an Oscar for playing this sportsman nicknamed The Greatest. <laughs> Sahanya? Muhammad Ali. Name him. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Question number nine. Faust, published in 1808 and considered by many as the greatest work of German literature, is the work of which? Ranugi? Franz Kafka? <laughs> That's the incorrect answer. Do we have the answer here? We do not have the answer from here. The correct answer is Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. We move on to question number 10. Greenpeace is a non-governmental environmental organization founded in 1971 in which country? Time's up. The correct answer is Canada. Well, there you go. It was probably not a decisive win because we all saw what happened at the end of the fifth round, but we are yet to see whether what we saw is put down in numbers accurately. And also stay tuned because we'll be awarding a very interesting title at the end of the fifth round when we come back after this short commercial break. Stay tuned with the final results and the presentation and the awarding of the special title, the Pintat lead after this break. This is TV1 Pintat on season two. <laughs> Welcome back. You are watching level two of TV1 Pentathlon season two. Well, we have come to the final most part of this match, which is for us to find out who the winner is, who will be getting closer to the grand finale of TV1 Pentathlon season two, and also to find out who the pentathlete is and which school will not be qualifying to the grand finale. Let's find out right about now, but first, let's find out who the pentathlete is of this very interesting match between Anula Vidyalaya and Devi Balika. Who is the pentathlete today? We selected pentathlete according to overall performances throughout the program. And we considered contribution to the team because this is a teamwork, active participation and marks obtained individually. So today, the pent athlete is Ranugi from Devi Balika. Well, Krishma, I'm not very sure if you were able to get a glimpse of what I just witnessed. Before the judges gave out their decision, the team was pressurizing Ranugi by saying, you know what, I think you're going to be the pentathlete. And she's like, no way, I think it's going to be the captain, it's going to be the captain, and they were passing the ball. But sometimes we are taken by surprise in life, and that's how the game goes on, even life goes on just like that. While thanking the judges for their decision of reading out the pentathlete, 
while also congratulating Ranugi from the Ibalika for clinching the title of pentathlete. It's time for us to see the scores at the end of five interesting rounds. Let's find out how the schools have fared at the end of round five. In round five, Anula Vidyalaya unfortunately scored themselves zero points, which brings their total up to 221 points. While Devi Balika Vidyalaya in the final round scored themselves 45 points and they have the winning total today, 290 points. Well, it's time for us now to get into the presentation and for that I would like to invite our two judges to assist us with the presentation. Well, no one leaves empty-handed here on the stage of TV1 Pentathlon, so that is why it's time for us to first and foremost award the outstanding title for this match which we call the Pentathlete of the match and let's all put our hands together for Ranugi from Devi Balika Vidyalaya. Now let's appreciate the hard work put in by the team that will not go home empty-handed but will go home with participation certificates. Let's give it up to Anula Vidyalaya. The Vail Devi Balika Vidyalaya will be qualifying to the next level. We won't be seeing Anula Vidyalaya with us in the rounds to come. But however, once again, it's time for us to appreciate and also thank you for being with us and also our elite panel of judges without whom this task is impossible. And thank you very much for spending your time, your energy and giving out the correct, accurate judgment in order to make this match a very successful one. And also taking time out for all the cheerleading squad who we call from both schools and also the staff for being with us. This is indeed a success because of everyone's joint effort. So it's time for us to wrap things today from the top 16 level 2 of TV1 Pentathlon Season 2 with the hope of seeing each and everyone again with another match. It's time for us to say goodbye and we'll see you next week. Same time, same channel. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon, Pentathlon Season 2. Season two.